PDD is expressed as a percentage of the absorbed dose at point Q at a depth Z to the absorbed dose at point P at a fixed reference depth D max along the central axis of the beam. In this diagram, this is photon source. This is point P. This is point Q inside the phantom. Photon source emit X-ray and dose deposit to point P and point Q. So, PDD is simply ratio of dose at to point at different depth multiplying with 100. First, we understand this ray diagram with compare to this diagram in which a water phantom is placed under the head of medical linear accelerator. This is the point source it emit photon beam. This is collimator which help in collimate the beam. Distance between source to collimator is called SCD. This is surface of water phantom. Distance between source to surface of water phantom is called SSD. This is point P at a depth D max. And D max is the depth at which maximum dose deposit by the photon beam. This is point Q at depth Z inside the phantom. Source emit photon beam and dose deposit to point P and point Q. A is the field size at surface of water phantom. AQ is the field size defined at the depth Z inside the phantom. Now you understand this ray diagram and you know about what is point P, point Q, field size A, field size AQ, SSD and SCD. PDD depend on four parameter. Number one, depth in phantom. Number two, field size A. Number three, SSD and number four, photo energy now we see how pdd depend on depth inside the phantom for a constant field size constant ssd and fixed energy pdd first increase with depth from the surface of phantom to the depth of maximum dose. Here Z max is the depth of maximum dose. Beyond the Z max, PDD decrease with depth. Why PDD make this type of curve? I will explain in detail in another video. Now we see how PDD depend on beam energy for a constant field size, SSD and fixed depth, PDD beyond the Z max increase with beam energy because of a decrease in beam attenuation. In this diagram, you observe at a fixed depth, SSD and constant field size Lower energy have minimum value of PDD and for higher energy have maximum value of PDD. We can say that higher the beam energy means higher the deposition of dose means higher the PDD value. Now we see how PDD depend on field size. For a constant SSD, depth and energy, PDD increase with increase field size 
because of increase scatter radiation contribution to point on the central axis in this figure at a constant depth constant ssd constant beam energy for small field size have minimum pdd value but when we increase field size pdd value increase so for large field size pdd value is maximum because if the field size is small then dose at a depth is a result of primary radiation only and contribution of scattered photon is very less or negligible but when we increase the field size then at same depth value of pdd is increase because dose deposition is the result of primary radiation as well as scattered radiation so overall dose deposition is increase when we increase the field size so we can say that when field size increase pdd is increase but the field size dependency is depend on beam quality field size dependency is less pronounced for high energy beam than the lower energy beam because higher energy photon beam are scattered more predominantly in the forward direction and scattering in lateral direction is less now we see how pdd depend on ssd for a constant depth field size and energy pdd increase with increase ssd in this figure at a constant depth constant field size and constant beam energy smaller ssd have minimum pdd value and higher ssd have maximum value here pdd is directly proportional to the source to surface distance this is the practical measured data of pdd at a fixed depth constant ssd and constant field size for different energy you observe that z max is increase when energy is increase here pdd and z max is directly proportional to beam energy this is the practical measured data for pdd for different field size it's showing that at constant depth fixed ssd and beam energy pdd is increase when field size is increase here pdd is directly proportional to field size means pdd increase with field size this is the practical measured data for pdd for different ssd it's showing that for a constant field size depth and energy value of pdd is increase when we increase the ssd here pdd is directly proportional to source to surface distance that means pdd value increase with increasing ssd we can conclude that beyond the z max pdd decrease with depth pdd increase with beam energy pdd increase with field size pdd increase with ssd thanks for watching for more video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon